Okay, as one observant uh, viewer pointed out, uh, I had a wavy pattern on my uh, two, uh, on my um, part here. And um, <clears throat> after discussing a little bit with Louise today, the owner of Rocketronics in Germany, which is the maker of the ELS, he pointed out something to me, and so I've uh, included those tips, which um, uh, where to increase the, the micro stepping for the x axis. And also then um, to be sure about the backlash. Okay, and then I had some uh, uh, error in the the tool. Actually, I had uh, been able to, to actually uh, degrade one part of the tool there. Plus, what was most important for uh, at least uh, I thought the um, the setting where that uh, the motor uh, had uh, um, uh, not correctly set uh, current rate uh, setting so i uh, corrected that and then lastly uh, i changed from version 10.11 to 10.16 which then uh, includes a new um, tool path, so to speak, a new program for the taper uh, turning. So if I then uh, do the same um, operation as before, I do the taper here, I set it to 0.1 hundreds per revolution, set the sec set the, uh, again to the same as I have, just by going to the left here, 17, and then I push in to go to the tenths and push down this one also to go to the hundreds. And then go down to set to 15. That was the same settings, same paper. Starting the spindle, I can start by pushing start here. And as you can see, it suggests 46 uh, cycles, but I will just take one. So I go all the way down to one and then I can go one more and then you see the, the digit over to the right there the finish pass disappears so i can choose by the way i choose is just to select with a knob here so very easy and that that's how you do the paper and then i start now you can see the tool path is completely different And now also I'll get a nice finish in one go. Actually this is also a, um, a fine feed on this. Yeah, now we're talking. This is much better. Now it's smooth. So, good one. Must really uh, brag about his manuals also. Uh, this is example is in German uh, for the number three but for the number four well he has english uh, versions for all manuals uh, all versions i mean but this is really good with respect to setting up and finding out all the information really he told me <laughs> is in here so i mean it's 
read the manual, read the manual, read the manual, that's really what I should have done. And uh, for instance, uh, the current setting for the, for the steppers is here, how to set up everything, and of course all the functions. For instance, taper turning is here. Where you have uh, an external taper and an internal taper. And um, how this is calculated, and also then the numbers you see here for setting up the different normal tapers. You can come up with the Morse tapers and, and uh, those if you want to do. If you do um, threading, you have. Altogether, four different different modes. Like uh, here, you can plunge cut. You can do like you would do with the compound set to twenty nine degrees, or rather, and then you can you do alternate and then like you do on the CNC machines. So uh, very nice. The reason I uh, had this tool was also to try out some form uh, taper. So if I make, uh, let's see if I can make a um, a uh, curved path here. We have a program namely called uh, external and we have external radius on the inside like this which I will try out. So, um, if I then just measure, so I go in, let's see, first out, and then just uh, saying that that is the, the distance in, so I set my set, no, sorry, my x0 there, and then I go as to where I will start the radius there, set my set 0, and then I will just say that uh, I can measure this length also and the distance in here, we do that uh, with the system of course, just trying to see Okay, that is about there, which is um, read on the display there as uh, 7.6 millimeters. So then I know that my so I went I went in until this was in here, and I read the difference here from where I set uh, x zero. To be 7.6 millimeters, so I will then use that value here for the for the x, and I do the same for the set, just the other way. Uh, I mean, uh, with the, using the set, of course. So I'll just set six, 7.6, okay, and then I go out again, and I measure the same here. How long do I get here? Say there, which is 18. So then I said set like 18. And now I can start the spindle. Get out of, of the round, I see, but it should be okay. Hopefully the overhang is not too much. Otherwise I have to use the tail stock. It suggests to me 31 passes. I'm okay with that, so it's zeros. And then uh, it's. Just, just cutting here the first uh, passes because of the fact that I don't have any material there. So. Um, 
I guess we'll have to wait. Of course, the uh, radius the other way would be a curve that I could do two times to make a ball, which we can do later. But for this test, I think you will get the meaning. And as you can see, I set the feed rate down to 200 for revolution and uh, a little bit less than 600 RPM. So the 32 cycles, it will then now finish the 8 and start on the 9. And of course, this will be an elongated uh, curve, so it's hard to do that with a ball turning uh, apparatus, I think. Because of the fact that the ink tube in, uh, I mean, set and X are different. Now it uh, starts to be uh, some contour here to follow. But uh, I'm on the point of factor all the time, so um, it helps with oil. And it's at 19 now, out of 32 now. And it's eating its way through here. That's with uh, some coolant. Probably more to flush the, uh, the chips away. I'm sorry for the, for the bad uh, filming. I'm just holding the camera in my hand. And, uh, trying to oil at the same time. This was really done as an example and I wasn't really as prepared as I could have been. But anyway. I didn't measure all that correctly probably, but also doesn't matter. So, finished. get the point. And for form cutting, I mean like I have done now, making an, an, a radius like this, all these different programs. I mean you can, you can look up the manual yourself to see. Uh, yeah, here it was, if you want to do like uh, these forms or probably more interesting than just these fancy ones here is the one where you have a possibility to, to uh, for instance, to, um, uh, for uh, belts and then different uh, parameters there and then you see here is also already given us different types of 
Well, we in, don't you need to cut different sizes for belts really, for the pulleys? I mean, so a lot, really, really a lot.